YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to the spaceship. My name is Letter C, for those that don't know. And I'm here to show you what I think is the easiest and fastest way to start using CDJs if you're a Serato DJ user and they want to start using USB sticks either as a backup or just to try CDJs. I'm going to show you how you can set up your playlist. At least what I think is the easiest and fastest way to do it. Um, first things first, you're going to need a USB stick. Um, for now, you use anyone you want, but preferably a newer one that's 3.0. It has a good fast speed. This is a SanDisk Ultra Flare, and this is 128 um, gigs. So I definitely recommend these because these are super clutch. I have like three of them. Um, definitely want to have a backup. And this is my backup. Let's say Serato isn't working, and they do have CDJs because this happens to me um, on Friday. I can just plug this in, and I can still use the CDJs and still DJ even if something's messed up with my computer. So after you get the USB stick, your next step is to go to your computer, you want to go to pioneerdj.com, right? And at the top, you'll see it say products. Just go to all products because we need to download Rekordbox so we can use CDJs. So just scroll all the way down to Rekordbox. Click that. Cool. And right here it says download. We'll click that again. And you'll see this is the latest version it has. All right, all you gotta do is agree to the terms, and then you download it, it's free, all right? So that's pretty dope. So after you download, this is the latest version. You definitely wanna download the latest version because it'll be faster. And after you have that downloaded, we're gonna take our USB stick, and we're gonna put it into our Mac. So once we have our drive connected, we're gonna go and open up Rekordbox once it's downloaded, right? And it's gonna do a bunch of stuff. All right, right now it's reading the tracks. It's telling me to upgrade to the version I'm telling you to download. I'm just gonna close this. Now, these are my playlists I already have on my drive. Okay. And the name of my drive is J5. Shout out to you. If you know what movie that's from, let me know in the comments. Anyway, our next movie is to open up Serato. I need my Hot Right Now playlist. And I need my hip hop from Whiskey Town. And I'm gonna set it up like my crates are set up. So let's say if we're just, I'm gonna show you how to do one playlist first. So to do a playlist, see right here, that plus sign right here, just click it. And we're gonna write hot right now. As a title, right? So this is our hot right now. Crate, I'm gonna command A, highlight everything in that crate, and then I'm just gonna drag all those songs to that playlist. And then this will come up, we'll press OK. And now you see it down here, it's saying it's analyzing 78 tracks. All right, so, and that's how you would have a playlist from one crate to record box. Now to show you how I would do a folder, we're going to right click and my computer is old, so it's slow. And then we're gonna create a new folder. Boom. So this folder, it's gonna be Whiskey Town, all right? Now we have our folder, and then I want, let's see, what do I want? So from Whiskey Town, I want both of my hip hop folders are 80 and 100 BPMs. So, we'll go back to Record Box. We'll hit this. Twice. So we want hip hop. 80 BPM and hip hop 100 BPM, right? So for the Eddie, we'll do the same thing. We'll highlight them all, drag them over. Same thing for the 100. We'll go to that crate, highlight them. 
drag them over. So now Rekordbox is analyzing all those tracks. I'm gonna drag those, drag them all the way down till I get to my drive, which is J5. And then you'll see exporting to volume J5 right there. And this is that telling you how much is loading up. Then we'll do the same thing for Whiskey Town. And now we'll take the Whiskey Town folder, do the same thing, we'll drag it all the way down, all the way down to J5. You see J5. So now we have all the playlists that we want onto our drive. It's gonna get all those songs from our crates, put them in the same crates that are in the playlist and record box, and we'll be able to use them. So right now we just gotta wait for it to finish loading up. Okay, now if you look, everything is all set. All the music should be on our drive now. It's not loading up anymore as you see down here. So what we can do now is we can just quit record box and we'll unplug J5. Now, our next step is to take our drive to our DJ gig, throw it in the CDJ, and I'll show you what it looked like. All right, let's get it. All right, so we got our USB stick in our CDJ. Comes with the other CDJ that's linked. Press the link to pull up the playlist. All right, and then I'm just gonna freeze it in a second, just to show you. You'll see we have the Whiskey Town playlist, 80 PPM, 100 BPM, and we have the Hot Right Now playlist up there as well. Now let's say you wanna add more music to a playlist or whatever, just do the same steps. Take the music from Serato, drag it back into that playlist, and then you'll come to Record Box, and down here it says Sync Manager, right? Click that. You'll wanna go to Record Box right here at the top. So whatever playlist you added to, you will click it all so it goes lot radio. Let's say I added more to lot radio August. I will have this click and then I'll press this arrow right here. And it's gonna sync it and add the new track that we just added. So this is how I use record box and how I use the USB stick when I'm around CDJs. I think it's pretty easy. Definitely worth it to have just as a backup because you never know what happens sometimes. Things go wrong. I keep mine on my keychain, so I'm ready to DJ no matter where I'm at. There's two DJs, I could DJ at anybody's party, function, or whatever. So you are a working DJ, this is definitely something you should be into. So if you're a DJ, click this video and check out my four top apps for DJs. Peace.